news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola P. Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. The report produced by the Special Select Committee was laid in the House of Assembly during the May 26, 2022 sitting. It concludes that the legal fees incurred by former Speaker of the House of Assembly, Mr. Julian Willock, should not be paid by the government of the Virgin Islands. Willock, a Speaker of the House of Assembly at the time, had moved to the courts of law, alleging that persons employed by Commissioner of the Commission of Inquiry, Sir Gary Hickenbottom, were working illegally in the territory. This became a controversial matter at its conclusion, when the court decided that Willock pay the cost as the process was ended by him and that the parties involved had invested valuable resources. Andrew A. Foy then Premier took it to the House of Assembly that the cause be observed by the government on the premise that the legal process was done by Willock in his capacity as Speaker of the House and not personally. This saw major pushbacks in the Legislative House, in the public's domain, in the forms of a protest and on several other platforms. It was as a result of this pushback that Foy moved to set up a special select committee to make the final decision. The committee? Honorable Mark H. Vantepool, Honorable Julian Fraser, R.A., and Honorable Vincent O. Wheatley as chair. The conclusion of the committee? Quote in the report, Based on the evidence is provided and the judgment of the learned judge, it is concluded that the Speaker should not have brought the proceedings against the lawyers of the Commission of Inquiry and he did not have expressed permission to do so on behalf of the House of Assembly. As a result, we have accepted the latter half of Section C of the resolution which states, The action is not deemed warranted and it is without merit and as a result, there should be no consideration of the matter by the House of Assembly." End quote. Among those who appeared before the committee were Willock, Deputy Speaker Honorable Neville Ship Smith, and Attorney General Honorable Dawn Smith. Their contributions assisted in guiding the committee's decision. Now, of the three-man committee, there was one dissenting voice, Honorable Julian Fraser, who said, as stated in the report, while in fairness to the committee, myself included, I find that the resolution in offering three options has failed to offer one that represents the actual or close to the actual facts. I do not find that the position of the committee accurately spoke to the situation at hand. End quote. Having cited excerpts from the resolution, Honorable Fraser went on to say, quote, the Speaker was indeed given consent by members to proceed with the application to object and that he found the issue of consent of members of the objection to be purely semantics. He concluded, Second, there is the issue of who should pay costs. On this, all I'll say is that my competences does not lead me into overruling a court's decision. End quote. With this JTV News Update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Deliciously smooth.
Yeah, you. Put on some muscle? I did? No. Rapid growth in reliance on digital systems has opened new vulnerabilities and additional layers of cybersecurity are required to combat sophisticated cyber attacks. Simply Secure's security management solution helps overcome these challenges. Our service includes 24-7 protection for network devices, computers and servers with automatic restoration, security audits, and penetration testing. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Contact us today.